Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. Last July, Pixelmator Pro released update 3.3.9, which included a bunch of improvements. But the most interesting to me was the denoise improvement. They say the new denoise includes quality improvements and gives artifact-free noise removal. The new AI denoise also now has a denoise intensity slider, which will allow for adjustment of the amount of noise removal. Now using AI denoise in Pixelmator Pro is super simple. As with all Pixelmator Pro tools, all you have to do is go to format, then click denoise. Unlike other AI denoise apps, Pixelmator Pro's AI Denoise works pretty fast. Once done, Pixelmator Pro provides a preview and as you can see, it now includes the intensity slider to adjust the amount of noise. Now with the overview out of the way, let's do the slideshow comparison and at the end, I will tell you if this new Denoise is a big improvement. So I hope you enjoyed that presentation. What did I think of it? Well, if it was not obvious from the slideshow, I do agree with Pixelmator that there was a big improvement in the noise reduction. The biggest improvement in noise reduction I saw was from this image right here. Here is the previous denoise result. And as you can see, there was hardly any improvement at all. The old AI either could not detect the noise or did not know how to remove the noise. Here is the new denoise result. As you can see, it is night and day. The new version denoised this image with a similar performance as more expensive competitors. Here is a second example, and this is the original. Here is the result of the older denoise. As you can see here, the important detail of this building was blurred out, making this image unusable in my view. Here is the new denoise result. As you can see, the AI has retained the important detail while also significantly reducing the noise in the sky. Finally, here is the last example, which is especially great because this is a JPEG file which Pixelmator Pro's denoise still supports. Most AI denoisers work exclusively with the RAW, so this is nice that Pixelmator Pro continues to support denoise with JPEG. This is the old denoise result. Again, important details are blurred out, impacting negatively the quality of the image. And here is the result of the new denoise. The details are now correctly retained, while reducing the background noise. A big jump in quality, in my opinion. Now, it's not all roses for Pixelmator Pro's denoise. It still does not work well with severe noise. Here is the result of the old denoise, and here is the result of the new denoise. Some improvement, but not comparable at all 
to top quality AI denoisers like DXOD Prime or even the Lightroom denoise. So there you have it. I hope you found this video helpful. All in all, Pixelmator Pro's denoise AI is now smarter in retaining detail and removing more noise than ever before. For many people with moderate noise issues, this new denoise will be more than adequate. But what do you think? Is Pixelmator Pro denoise good enough for you? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this type of content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.